The views expressed on this show do not necessarily reflect the management and staff of this station. Well, it's me, it's not you, it's not you. To myself, I gotta be true. Change my mind, change my mind, change my life. Welcome to the show, Respected. Mm -hmm. It's a fun and exciting show featuring women from all walks of life and with different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're just going to introduce all of our co-hosts so you can know our names. I'm Indira, and I'm in my 30s, and I'm single. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Poor, that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Sophia. I ain't telling you what I am. You figure it out. I'm, 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 I'm at a good place. There you go. I'm at a good place. Happily married a whole drill load of children. Praise the Lord. Oh, Nettie. And I'm Antoinette. Mm -hmm. And you guess how old I am. Mm. I'm married. I'm sassy. <laughs> well, I'm Syl, and I am somewhere around 21. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm single. Oh. <laughs> and in denial. Oh. <laughs> no, uh, uh, big time. Time. And I'm Rose. And I am older than all of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm married. Mm -hmm. Happily. <laughs> um, this being our first show, when it's a new show, it's January. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask yeah. you guys, what do you think about that so far? Mm -hmm. No. I already feel as though we have that. So, <laughs> my, I don't know where that come in because our prices are like, Sky high. But you don't like, see them on the on the on the thing already. They when I went in the food store the other day, they yeah. had the price plus uh, bought on there already. They would be like, okay, six sixty nine dollars for this cup, mm -hmm. and when that reach, it'll be eighty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. Like. Really? But the price already, already up. Price right mm -hmm. The price already up. Plus VAT would come in. Right. So that no. means you only can get half a can of tuna, mm -hmm. not the full can. So no. you got to so share. I mean, we, we now have to pool. Yeah, um, right. You're right. 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 Mm -hmm. I, but I have mm -hmm. one concern. Mm -hmm. Are we paying VAT on our ties? No, Charlie. No, you know, they said 10%. <laughs> no, if you can do it, you might as well do it across the board. What did you say, Rose? Well, I, 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 I think Father will agree with you on that. <laughs> the church really needs the money. Well, uh, they ain't tying my, my, my gambling money. Eh? But the oh, thing Lord. with it is, as soon as you talk about VAT or gambling, mm -hmm. the church is the one that loses. Yes. Yes. Because everyone forgets God, but they don't forget the gambling. Mm -hmm. You're right. And then they accuse well, I, the men and women of God of stealing their two dollars. Well, I uh -huh. have to go to the gambling house so I can carry my collection to church. Praise your God. Your collection, not your time. <laughs> that is that is that you're commanded to give. Oh, oh, we, I know we hot and we yes, ready to roll. Go. We got plenty of topics we want to talk about today. However, today's <laughs> topic will be women who cheat. Like, oh, I've never heard of that in my life. What? Women <laughs> cheat? Impossible. <laughs> but we are going to discuss this today uh, and we want to hear from all of you. Woo. So, give me right back as we continue our discussion on why women cheat we've invited pastor mario moxie who is the pastor of bahamas harvest church to join us and to give his thoughts and offer us the women some <laughs> introspection on why women cheat welcome pastor welcome welcome welcome, welcome. welcome. it is so good to be here with you guys sitting with you <laughs> so we've been talking about it, and so we just want to hear from you. Why do you think women cheat in their relationships? There are a number of reasons why women cheat. Um, but when you ask the question like that, mm -hmm. the first thing I want to say is when someone cheats, there is actually no excuse for it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the very okay. first thing, you know. Oh, yeah. People think that, okay, a woman cheats, and it means the guy was awful, he did something terrible, and so therefore he's deserving of it. And that is the complete opposite. Because even if there are issues in the marriage, cheating is, is not a marriage problem. It's a sin mm. problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's a 100% choice. Now, as it relates to the question as to why, why a woman would cheat, um, 
first off, sometimes it's related to affection. She, mm -hmm. women needs affection, and, and the number one need in her life is non-sexual affection. Men are wide, slightly different. We, we love respect, and uh, when it comes to affection, our brand of affection is usually very sexual, very direct. Mm -hmm. women, women love to talk. Mm -hmm. Men are not necessarily talkers, so one form of non-sexual affection is conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's oxygen in a woman's world, and mm -hmm. a guy yeah, that is really able good. to give a woman a lot of conversation wins her heart, yes. Yes. and she has a craving for that. Mm -hmm. And and you know, women speak about seventy thousand words a day. Mm -hmm. Men <laughs> speak about thirty-five thousand words a day. <laughs> so by the time he's knocked off from work, he's already done with all the words. Mm -hmm. She's just halfway there, yeah. and yeah. she's ready to engage, and he isn't. And so she's starved for non-sexual affection, which could also be hugging and, and uh, touching mm -hmm. and, and kissing and so forth. Um, another reason why women sometimes end up having uh, extramarital affairs is because of aloneness. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing that you can have two people in the same house, but yet she's Still very alone, alone because mm -hmm. she needs time. She needs, mm -hmm. she needs to connect. And, um, and today we find in our homes where the number one culprit uh, and I say this just from my own experience, working with a lot of couples, the number one culprit when it comes to, to women feeling alone is, believe it or not, video games. Really? Men, really? men are kind of uh, caught in video yeah, games, they're yeah. playing yeah. games, they're playing a lot of, yeah, whether it's on their mobile phone or whether it's on a screen or what have you, and so they, so let me ask they you that. Is that, is that younger couples or no, no, older is, couples No, this, well? is, this is not younger oh, guys, men. this is just men in general. Oh. And, and when you think about it, it makes sense, only from the perspective of men are uh, uh, kind of athletic, they're into sports, mm -hmm. they're into competing. Mm -hmm. And so games that, that compete, mm -hmm. games that, mm -hmm. that end up causing them to think, or mm -hmm. they play harder, they're trying they to win points, they're oh. trying to beat the system, and, and so forth. So mm -hmm. they're really engaged in those mm -hmm. type of things. Mm -hmm. And so he's off doing his thing. Um, and his, his cry is, at least I'm home. Right. I'm, I'm here. Home. I'm yeah. not yeah. out uh -huh. somewhere. So we sabotage ourselves when we buy all these electronics for them oh, for definitely. Christmas and mm -hmm. birthday. Oh, definitely. What you're saying <laughs> is um, you can have a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. and, and you can call her um, Xbox, iPad, so. Xbox, whatever you want to call her. You know, you, you, <laughs> you, you give her that name. Mm -hmm. But it's stealing time away from the relationship. And so women feel alone. And in that, in that void of aloneness mm -hmm. um, is where the potential for infidelity mm -hmm. comes. Um, another one is, is acquaintances. You know, women somehow, they're very selective. Men... Uh, when we think of, of a man and his, his loss, it's very impulsive, mm -hmm. but women are very selective. Mm -hmm. when, and the That's same thing with their sexual fantasy. Mm -hmm. You know, for a man, all you have to do is see an, an attractive woman, mm -hmm. and he can have a sexual fantasy. He, he's carried away, mm -hmm. and, and then... You know, he's carried away too far. No. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you say um, attractive woman? No, fell off. Oh, okay. <laughs> But women, on the other hand, they they, you know, they get into very selective. They mm -hmm. they have a particular type. They mm -hmm. think of uh, uh, you know, their their fantasies is usually with one particular person, yeah. mm -hmm. a person that they've grown uh, attached to or right. close to, mm -hmm. and then it goes into conversations, mm -hmm. and long walks on the beach, and that's how our fantasy yeah. kind of mushrooms. Hence the reason why it's when a woman has an affair, mm -hmm. it is usually very deep rooted. You mm -hmm. know, this is not a casual thing for man. Mm -hmm. It's he's excited once he's up, that's it. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter. It's just a mm -hmm. warm body for, for men, generally speaking. Um, so that, that unique acquaintance is one way is another um, issue. And then there's a group of women I, I can categorize this as acquisitions. Women mm -hmm. that just go after men. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wow. These are those. more predator type women, you know. Mm -hmm. they, okay. they just I'm gonna stop you right there for now. <laughs> We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. We're talking with Pastor Mario, who's trying to explain to us why women mm -hmm. cheat. Mm -hmm. Now, Pastor Mario, what that big word is you had not Predators, the predators. The predators. The predators. There are some women that see men as acquisitions. And acquisitions, so they, that's they what they mm. And uh, so they go after them. And, and that's, a, uh, that's a kind of a different group of women that usually when, when a woman is like that, 
there's very little that you can do to kind of really help her. She mm -hmm. has to want to help herself. She mm -hmm. has to want to change. Um, and, and I say that only in the context of of a marriage, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. See, when, mm -hmm. when a woman is like that, usually it's it's extremely detrimental. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what, what we would consider to be a bad woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A bad woman. Yeah. So she's a predator. We're still talking mm -hmm. about a married woman, right? right. Still talking about a married woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Women. Married, married women. All mm -hmm. women who go after men mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who are married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about if they're single? Is that the same thing? How, how is that with single women who are in a committed relationship who choose to go out there and see other persons? Is, is that I think it's on the same level? Of, uh, mm -hmm. Or are we dealing with different levels here? If I'm if I'm going to cheat as someone who's single, will I then have to cheat on when I get married? I'll still be a cheater. But no, I don't. What what what's going well, on? Past well, the well first of all, cheating when you're single is a whole lot different than when you're married. Mm -hmm. Being right. married right. is a completely different, different ball game because mm -hmm. you're looking at a at a covenant mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. You're looking at a relationship um, that is uh, a permanent, eternal relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dating is, is, is more like courtship, and, mm -hmm. and when, uh, or, or when you go to court, you're on mm -hmm. trial. So, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you know, you can try um, in the context of, of dating, you put somebody on trial, and if that doesn't work, then you, you can put somebody else on trial. So it's okay mm -hmm. to cheat when you try it? No, I'm not saying that it's okay. <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't because, need because the whole point of the trial is this. I want to know whether or not you're going to be faithful to me. Right. So, you so, can't be faithful to me while we're dating. So I have to get a clue and realize I, that maybe I need to look at okay, something Okay, so, so cheating is, is, is just wrong, no matter yeah, where you're married. Wrong, no matter what. Okay. But it's a whole lot more devastating when there's a marriage yeah. Yeah. Because involved. my thing is, um, I feel as though being married and cheating and being Versus being single and cheating, two different things. Like you said, due to commitment. And at the same time, I feel as though um, we take dating too serious in terms of, I feel as though sometimes persons who are dating is as, as if they're married. I shouldn't have to feel as if I'm married in a dating relationship. If I'm dating someone, it's okay if I leave them. It's okay if we break up. That's my point of view. And if the person cheats on me or I cheat, I don't cheat. She doesn't cheat. If someone cheats on me, I'm going to be like, you know what? If you're going to cheat on me while we're dating, it doesn't make sense I commit to you because you're going to do it. That so it's only me and you. One of the fundamental, and I'm saying this as a pastor, one of the mm. fundamental difference of people who are dating and people who are married, uh, there's, there's really one fundamental difference, and that is the sexual relationship. Mm. Dating becomes a major emotional issue the moment people mm -hmm. decide that's that they're going to become sexually active mm -hmm. yes and 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 i say that because most people don't understand divorce because they never understood marriage in the first place mm -hmm. marriage is coming together of two people and uh the bible says to become one flesh mm -hmm. your flesh don't break your flesh tears mm -hmm. so anytime there's a separation it's a tear yeah. well that same thing happens within a dating context right. because you use something that God intended only for the marriage mm -hmm. right. in a dating context. Mm -hmm. And so now you say if someone cheats, you can easily walk away. But there are a lot of people who are dating and they can't walk right. away. And the reason why they can't walk away is because they've already become sexually active. And mm -hmm. so there's this bonding that takes so place. And, and then when they attempt to, to uh, separate, there's this tearing and it's very Painful. painful yeah. mm -hmm. So no one wants to go through that pain. So they end mm -hmm. up staying in a in a in a dating or a, a boyfriend girlfriend relationship indefinitely, mm -hmm. even though there's a lot of drama. Mm -hmm. And we've seen yeah. that. Yeah. Now, Pastor, I know Antoinette had a question she yes. had there that she mm -hmm. has to get out, and and we're going back on what will make a woman yes. cheat. Annette, you were talking about this earlier. You're talking about pain. Um, is there a difference be, um, in outcome versus a woman cheating on a man and uh, to compare to a man who cheats on, on a woman? Is there a difference in outcome? Now, most people think that when a woman cheats, that that's it. The man's going to throw in the towel and just mm. walk away. And, mm -hmm. and that's what most people think. However, the reality is something entirely different. Um, in most of the cases that I've worked with, when there was infidelity on the part of the woman, mm -hmm. the men stayed in the relationship. That's surprising. Wow. And, and, and the, well, 
it's surprising if you listen to what people out there say. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It's okay. not surprising when you, you understand the reality mm -hmm. of because we we all we all have these emotional connections. Mm -hmm. right. And whereas this woman has done something that's so horrible um, and uh, to me that I feel like I just can't continue to live with her. Mm -hmm. The reality of it is um, we have children. Um, I, I love her, you mm -hmm. know. The fact that she did something this horrible, that I can't turn the faucet of love it. off, mm -hmm. just that quickly, and mm -hmm. just walk away. So there are all these connections, all these ties, and, and oftentimes the men, uh, men stay with those relationships, mm -hmm. just as women stay in the relationship with a man. Now, as having said that, all of the basic uh, elements of reconciliation that takes place after that is pretty much the same. The same, okay. Um, and, hmm. and but how is the trust? How well, do you get over that? How is life after infidelity? Life after infidelity is a new normal. It's it's it, there's no such thing as going back to the way things yes. were mm -hmm. because it doesn't happen that way. You you have to reconcile, and, and reconciliation means that I have to come clean. I, I have to tell the truth. I have mm -hmm. to be transparent. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people that, that really struggle with this. I, yeah. I, I speak to a number of, of couples, and, and this is an area where for the person who offended, they don't want to say mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the person who has been offended, they want to well, know I, everything. everything yes. They want to know the details. Mm -hmm. And in order for reconciliation to take place, I once, someone once said to me, uh, they said, well, they got advice from another person another pastor. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say that. But they got advice from another pastor. The pastor mm -hmm. says, well, what, what your wife don't know, it won't hurt her. Ooh. Uh, that, that's horrible yes. advice, obviously. Yes. It's horrible because you can't reconcile if you're right. keeping secrets. Mm -hmm. The whole point of reconciliation is you have to put everything mm -hmm. on the table. And you think that that's going to be painful for the person who's been offended. But actually, it's part of the healing Maybe process. All right, pastor. Yeah. Wow. What your wife don't know won't hurt her. We'll be right back with Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Mario. We got to figure this one out, guys. Woo. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back. We left on a very, very, I don't know what kind of note to say, but <laughs> Pastor Mario said another pastor said, what your wife don't know don't hurt. Ladies, Pastor, I don't know mm. how you all feel about that. My thought on it is, all knowledge ain't good to have. Mm -hmm. Now that's my thought. Well, uh, but also, I understand what you said in reference to the point that in order to conquer, we need to confront. Mm -hmm. Personally, if it were me, I don't want to know details. I, I don't need to know. There, there are a number of people that I, I speak to, and they, they would say the same thing uh, at the very beginning, but then yeah, as it progresses, there are questions that come up. Mm -hmm. And so I constantly have to counsel people, anytime there's a question, you need to have the freedom to ask yes. it. Mm -hmm. And um, to the offender, you need to give your well, spouse Well, I, I could agree with that, but I think that. the major question is always why. I think women ask that question why differently from men, though. Men will ask, what wrong with you? Why are you doing Instead it? Women will what's say, wrong with what's me? wrong Be with right, me? Because why I want to know why you what didn't I do? What didn't I do right? And so yeah. you're trying to Where know what you can do. And again, that's not the case. You know? Not tell not us about it. Oh, tell us. You've got to have I, 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 I would tell you, when, when a woman is, is unfaithful to her husband, the first thing he thinks is he's inadequate Adequate. as a man. Mm -hmm. That's the very first mm -hmm. thing he thinks of. He doesn't go to uh, something that she did. Mm -hmm. He thinks automatically, he says, I didn't do something well. Mm -hmm. and, and the first thought that comes to him is his manhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and it's, it's, for a man, it, it gets him in a part of his being, a part of his, his masculinity that most men would never talk about. Mm -hmm. You would never hear them say anything about it, but, but it, it, it threatens who they are mm -hmm. as a man. And mm -hmm. when you see that happens, it takes, it, 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 don't, don't never underestimate what it takes to reconcile, mm -hmm. whether for the woman or for the man, because it takes a whole lot mm -hmm. of humility, mm -hmm. it takes a whole, a whole lot of um, uh, coming together, and, and, and that's why there's so admitting. many questions. Yeah, so, and so, yeah. so you're process. asking questions, mm -hmm. and, and you're finding out. But it's so important that we understand that, that any time there's infidelity, it's not that the person who was uh, offended uh, did something. Mm -hmm. You know, notwithstanding that in, in many marriages there mm -hmm. are issues in the marriage, there are problems that they're having, but mm -hmm. those those problems never justify mm -hmm. infidelity. Mm -hmm. Pastor Mario, I want to go off. I know you began, as you started, you talked about 
infidelity being a sin problem. Mm -hmm. That's fine for the church, for those of us who know the Lord and, and everything like that. But what about persons who have no reverential fear of who God is? It doesn't matter. And in their minds, it's justifiable. Because right. let's, let, I want to use, a, or I'm not going to use just lust and different things like that. What if your spouse has cancer or some disease that really makes, incapacitates them to the point where they cannot be intimate with you? You know, I mean, so in someone's mind, That'd it's just, right. it's right, it's mm -hmm. justified. I could do this, but I'm still taking care of whom. I'm not neglecting my responsibilities, mm -hmm. but I need, I need to feel that body next to me. Okay. I need someone to talk to whether I'm having sex with them or not. Because like I said to the ladies in the restroom, we actually cheat in our minds first. Mm -hmm. And we could have mental um, exactly. adultery going mm -hmm. on. Exactly. A lot of persons commit adultery with the church because right. they spend more time in church than they do with their loved ones, with their husband or their wife. And the church is more important, whereas in God's order, it should be God, family, then ministry. Right. And we get it reversed so often. Mm -hmm. But when we don't look at the sin problem, I agree with you, it's a sin problem, but what about when it's really to the point where it could be justified? It, it, let, me, let me put it to you this way. I need water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need food. And you'll mm -hmm. drink that water out of the toilet bowl if you have to. If I have to. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. See, so, but that, so it's justifiable. That is, no, but you can no, 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 but God created us, God gave us desires not to frustrate us, right. he but gave to us, fulfill He gave us, us desires, but he also gave us the context of marriage Agreed. to fulfill those desires. Agreed. And so I go back to, to what you, the question that you asked. You say, well, you know, it's not a sin issue. Well, it is. It still is a sin issue, mm -hmm. whether we accept it or not. When I stand at the altar, as many as couples in this yeah. country yeah. do, yes. and I make a vow to my spouse yes. for better, for worse, mm -hmm. for richer, for poorer, in sickness. Mm -hmm. and in no, we stand and there, and I agree okay. with you. That's why I said initially you said it's right. a sin problem, mm -hmm. but what about persons but who this, don't acknowledge but, God, but even, even though they, they said even, that? Even, even they they don't don't and nowadays, we have a lot of persons having marriage outside of the church, and outside of saying those those um, um, vows, Grant, granted, but those those marriage, you, marriage, marriage mm -hmm. covenant itself mm -hmm. is a commitment now to I the spouse. I only been an advocate. I know, here. I, only I know, been but, an advocate. but but it's a very interesting point that you're mm -hmm. raising. Mm -hmm. um, it's a covenant with the spouse. Mm -hmm. It's it's a legal contract that I'm entering into. Mm -hmm. Now, the moment I I do something unto what against that contract, I'm severing that contract. Mm -hmm. So all my good intent of, well, I'm still taking care of my family, mm -hmm. I'm still taking care of my home, mm -hmm. I'm still doing this, I'm still doing that, that's null and void. Because my actions have overridden all of my intent. But what if we go back to what you spoke about? Um, we're in the same house, but your focus is on Xbox. So, mm -hmm. so I all right, guys, you <laughs> will be at this all day, yeah. all day, all day. <laughs> All right, now, Phil <laughs> have a game. We're going to play with, with, with Pastor Mario. It's all about getting to know him a little better. Oh, the game okay. is style. All so, right. So, Mario, she can give it. Should I be game. nervous? No, 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 no. No, no, everything, everything above board. She's going to ask you either this or either that, and you got to give us a quick response and no change in answers. All okay, right? Okay. Easy, easy, peasy. Go ahead, Phil. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So, Pastor Mario Moxie, we want to know what's your pleasure? Your guilty pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> no, easy, 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 easy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Count salad or count fritters? Count salad. Regard our homecoming? No. Homecoming. Fish, fried fish or stew fish? Stew fish, definitely. <laughs> stew fish. <laughs> Group of fingers or chicken in the bag? Group of fingers. <laughs> Boat cruise or fast ferry? Boat cruise. Mm. 66 steps or National Art Gallery. National Art Gallery. Mm. Guava Duff. Guava Duff. <laughs> <laughs> what was the option though? What was the other thing? Guava Duff or what? The one was 
Johnny Cake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so All right, guys. <laughs> we would like to say a great big thank you for yes. Pastor Moxie yes. being here with us today. And stay tuned. Happy wedding day. Happy wedding day. Sad was the story of my life before I met you. Girl, I was trying to tell you that I did not know how this was gonna turn out back then Oh, back then But since it came in so good, how my life has changed And all that I do is rearrange How I turn all the tables Cause I got a good love from you, babe Now Since you came, all that I do is for you So don't go away, no I need you with me I'm feeling so strong I pray that we last long I made myself change I was so bad just before you Welcome back to Herspective. Now we are back right now to wrap up and give our final thoughts. Now ladies, now we, you gotta let me know, what have we learned in this segment of women who cheat? So I'll start. One thing I learned was that I was always of the impression that men don't move on and don't forget mm -hmm. as easily as a woman would. Mm -hmm. So Pastor Mario put that in perspective for me. Wow. In her perspective. In her perspective. <laughs> I'll let it go. In his ear. Well, my takeaway on this is that men, just as women would blame themselves mm -hmm. if a man cheats, I learned that sometimes men blame themselves too. Mm -hmm. Men that that was, cheats. That was That's new for highlights. Something yes. you should. Mm -hmm. And so. Mother said cheating wrong. <laughs> <laughs> cheating wrong, guys. I really thought that was the serious <laughs> Bahamian way of life. No. I really thought that no you, when you get no married, no. you're no. supposed to have a sweetheart. No. And no. your children supposed to go to the same school. No, it's, it's, no way. it's sort of a oh. It's okay, so get that out your head. It's a sin. It's it is a sin, sin problem. <laughs> it is a sin. You okay now? <laughs> I ain't, gonna t I ain't gonna think that way no more. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got, um, what I got from it was that it's a process mm -hmm. on both ends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I realized sometimes we think that men could take it, mm -hmm. but really and truly they have feelings just like us. So that mm -hmm. was something, that's like, that was like a little spin off for me. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a revelation to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I know it was a sin, mm -hmm. but um, I didn't expect to hear Pastor Mario saying the same thing that men react the same way as right. women do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we were different. Different, yeah. different level. <laughs> but to hear that, it's sort of, you know, I am happy to know that that would take place. Yeah. They mm -hmm. hurt just like us. Yes, they do. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> so <laughs> cheating is wrong enough. whether a woman does it or a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. cheating is wrong, so Yes, okay. okay. Well, thanks for joining us today. We had an amazing show. We would like for you to follow us on Twitter at Herspective242. Like our Facebook page, Herspective, the TV show. Stay tuned and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Quotes by famous women. Give a girl the right pair of heels and she can take over the world. Give a girl some boxing gloves and she can take you out of that world. A woman is like a tea bag. Only in hot water that she reveals how strong she is. You won't ever be able to conquer what you won't confront. Don't be a woman that needs a man. Be a woman a man needs. You could be the ripest peach in the bunch, but there would always be some fool that would prefer an apple. Don't miss Perspective Season 2.
The views expressed on this show do not necessarily reflect the management and staff of this station.